What a match. And it's live. Perfect pitch on a perfect day in this stadium. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith with you to provide the call today. This is action from EFL League Two. It's coming up very shortly for you. I think we're both really looking forward to this, Alan. I think if we get a, a nice, sharp, quick tempo to begin with, we're in for a real treat here because we've got a couple of entertaining sides that love to go forward. Thomas. And the ball's with Bridge. Good support running on either side. Guy. To Thomas. Looking to win it back. Well, that's not so much an interception as a poor pass. Well, he could be the star turn in this game. Certainly the one to watch, the one to try and keep quiet here. The build-up is patient. Chance to get the ball in the box. That whipped in ball at the near post. Keeper's ball, no question about that. It's a weak cross, really. Sibley. On the attack here. The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. Good one-on-one -on -one defending with the tackle. And the ball's with Bridge. A chance to break away now on the counter. Thomas. Could whip it in from here. Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. Good distance to the clearance then. Goal news involving Colchester. It's a goal for Colchester United. 15 minutes played, 1-0. Now it's offside. And it looks as though they might be in to score. And that's going to be a goal kick. Now O'Connor. To Connolly. Apologies to Alan for breaking into his report. Let me confirm that the home team have scored in that game and they now lead by that goal, 1-0. Attacking now. And goes straight through to the goalkeeper. That's not what he had in mind. It's O'Connor. side there by the keeper goal news from Port Vale it's a goal for the visitors it's been scored by Mickey Maynard a great angled finish that beat the keeper for pace and ended up nestled in the far corner 24 minutes played 1-0 well many thanks Alan McAnally keeping us up to date as usual he's given it away Bradford City Look a really good side these days. They're gunning for another win after that away victory against Cheltenham. Yeah, good solid 1-0 win. And capable of more of the same here. And it's going to be his throw here. And he's dealt with it. That dangerous moment. Patrick. Found good room out here. Working the opposition over a little bit here with their passing. Patrick. Well, space to get the cross in. Floated in. Back post. And the ball knocked away lock. Chance for a break in numbers. Still countering here. What a chance to take the lead. 
and plenty of speed. There's the breakthrough. Ooh, what a good move and what a good finish that is. That's top quality, no doubt about it. Well, he could hardly miss that from the right wing. That was a perfect delivery. And they got their reward for it. So the first goal, it's 1-0. And the ball's with Bridge. An opportunity here. There's some space to work the ball into. Sibley. It's a real opportunity to get it into the middle. Well, that'll be a throw. Patrick. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. There was a lot of promise in that, but in the end, no fruits from their labours. He fancies his chances in getting past these players. Driven goalwards. Oh, that's such a classy goal. Flag up for offside. It's not going to count. Well, really good organisation from the defence, and it was offside looking at it. Well, this must have been very tight indeed, but we get the advantage of another look that the officials, of course, don't. No, and uh, it was such a close call, but the defence had squeezed and caught the lad offside, although he took it away well. Wood. Sibley. And the verdict on added time is two minutes. It's become a rather defensive policy here for the team that's camped really in its own half at the moment. And that does let the opposition have free possession. They can really come at you, it's risky. Stopping the pass, getting through with... Well, that's half-time at 1-0. Now the second period, the second half is underway. To Thomas. Now Jones. Thomas to Jones. Plenty of space out wide and they're going to use it. Trying to spot a potential ball to open them up. But they're keeping the ball well. Chance to put it in the box from here. Keeping an eye on events elsewhere is Alan McAnally, as usual. Alan, what's happening in your game? It's a goal for the home team. 49 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Well, we'll follow that with interest. Saved by the keeper. He can't hang on to the ball. Made a quick interception. Shots on here. Well, that's a great block. I think we've seen it. The visitors controlling possession. They've just not been good enough going forward. I think what they've worked on in the week, the manager was talking about, they haven't really put it into practice out there. Too many off-key so far. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Manager thinking for the away side, time for a change. Sibley. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Wood. Trying to thread a pass through, but not successful. And it threads it through. Out to a wide man who's got room. Routine for the keeper. Riley. 
Sibley. Wood. It's good work here in terms of possession. Can they find the final pass? Some players arriving in the middle now. Moving it nicely and productively here. Sibley. Possession is the name of the game for this team. He fancies his chances in getting past these players. Swung into the box. No threat now. And this is going to be a throw. Well, it's uh, one change, and it looks like it's a case of just trying to freshen the team up a bit. I'm just hearing that there's been a goal somewhere else. Alan McAnally is there, I believe. Alan, what have you got for us? It's a goal for the visitors. 70 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Well, many thanks. Alan McAnally keeping us up to date, as usual. We see a substitute coming on for the away team here. Attacking now. He's pinched it back again. to Jones it's Webster now Jones and they're looking good when they get the ball out wide as they've done here put away but not out of harm's way he worked so hard on his heading. He needs to do a bit more work, I think. Yeah, the keeper's waving that one bye-bye. Goal news now from Port Vale. It's a second goal for Port Vale. 76 minutes played. 2-1. Cheers, Alan. Can really get at the opposition here. It's a brave effort, really, in amongst the players to get the header in, but off target, way off target. Yeah, not his best effort, that's for sure. It's noticeable that the home supporters are trying to help the team in this situation. They're encouraged by the lead, but they're fearful, perhaps, that this team might lose it. Well, they won't want to give anything silly away. The opposition are chasing... Solid punch by the goalkeeper. We've got eight more minutes of the 90. Jones. Thomas. Here's the goal from Colchester. It's a second goal for Colchester United. Seven minutes remain. 2-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Well, now they can attack, and he's got support with it. Well, they could have been opened up there, but the interception stopped that. Great defending there, stopping that attack. Now Jones. Well, he's read that, hasn't he? And made the interception, made it look easy, actually. What a good interception. Sibley. Place another two minutes added on by the referee. Now he wants to take them on. They can finish them off here, and they have done. Game over. Yeah, they've been clinical today when they've created those chances. Two for him on the day, and two very well taken goals. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. It's all over. And there is the final whistle. Well, this has been a real attacking.